Hi, my name is Christians. I'm a videographer and a photographer based in Latvia and today I'm going to be showing you how I transform two bland and flat looking images into two different moods using the Luminar Neo app. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we're going to start with the morning foggy look. The first thing that we're going to do is level out the horizon. So how are we going to do that? We're going to come to the crop tab right here, click it, horizon alignment and it will automatically align the horizon as we need it to. Then we click apply and we are set. The next thing is I want to add contrast to the image. We're gonna come here to the enhance tab and push the accent up somewhere like this, yeah. But right now I think the highlights are too high because the morning look is like really dark and moody. So we're gonna come here to the develop tab and push the highlights that bit down yeah like this okay as you can see the greens are overly saturated and they do not look like that in the morning so we're gonna come here to the color tab here in the HSL section click hue and bring them to the blue side somewhere like this I know it looks bad at this point but trust the process we're gonna come here to the saturation and unsaturate them like this yeah and then we're gonna come to the luminance and just make them darker a bit like this so we have come from looking like this to this the next thing is we need the morning foggy look we need the fog so we have to add it we're gonna come here to the atmosphere click mode and as you can see you can get many different modes fog layered fog mist haze but we're gonna go with the fog click the amount and just drag it up as you can see it automatically applies the fog like this I don't really like that it is affecting her face currently so we're gonna move the depth a bit down like this okay this is nice and we're gonna put the lightness down so it is a bit darker yeah like this the next thing I want to do is like emphasize the subject a bit more so we're gonna come here to the vignette and just lower it to add the vignette a bit like these rounded corners this is before and after and now to make the image look a bit moodier and aesthetically pleasing we're gonna come here to the mystical and push the amount up what it will do is like it will add bloom to the image and the last thing that I will do is click film grain and boost the amount to 15 let me zoom in on her face so I can see better yeah this is gonna be all right and this could be the final look but what I want to do is just under saturate the greens a tad bit more so we're gonna push the greens like this and this is what we have right now love this so we have come from looking like this to this in just few simple steps that are really easy to master okay and now we're gonna create the golden hour look again we're gonna start with the enhance tab boost the accent so it adds contrast and now also the greens are looking too saturated and too green and in golden hour it is orange it is yellow so we're gonna come here to the color tab again HSL click hue push the greens to the orange side don't be scared just push it so it looks like this and again we're gonna under saturate because I really like the moody feeling and the moody look for the image and we're gonna also click the yellows and under saturate them a bit more too okay really like this we come from this to this in two steps but what is golden hour without a sun so we're gonna have to add the sun we're gonna come here to the sun rays place sun center drag it to this side because you, as you can see the face is lit up on this side and on this side it is shadow so it is only logical that we put sun somewhere right here and then we're gonna drag amount up like this as you can see this is the before and after 
the sound really adds something to the image and it is looking a lot lot better now the grass is again looking a bit more saturated than i want to so we're gonna come here to the edits tab click color edge cell again saturation and bring the yellows a bit down and also the greens somewhere like this okay and this is looking good now what we can add more to really emphasize the subject again let's come to tools vignette drag the vignette down and we're gonna come to the mystical tab again and add the bloom so it really adds and builds character to the image and the last thing that we're going to do is add film grain because it will make the image look a lot better it's really subtle but it really does something to the image and makes it look more retro so as you can see we have transformed this image from looking like this really bland no sun it looks really flat to this with a sun in the background looking really really interesting and eye-catching and there are many more ways that you can create different moods for your photos utilizing all the luminar neo features and from my experience this is the quickest way that you can create great photos in no time thank you for watching this tutorial remember to subscribe and like and maybe explain in the comments how could you use luminar neo features for your projects see you in the next one